The pink ladies are back. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Earthrise Deluxe Class RC. So here we are, and there she is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. Earthrise War for Cybertron Transformers. On this side of the box, we have the lovely, lovely Earthrise. Artwork on this side. We have some nice artwork there of Miss RC. She is a deluxe class, a del class of deluxe, deluxe class, a class of deluxe. Oh, up top, more for Cybertron trilogy. On the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. And no, that's not it for the packaging because there's also the uh, the inserts which has the map piece and of course they give you the little decoder and what do we have here we have junkie on and oh and we have what's that dominus looks like and i think that's it some symbols some symbolage but i think that's it for the map so there you go and now that is it for the packaging the, the packaging and moving right along, here we have RC, the first in this new wave of Earthrise Deluxes. And here she is in her vehicle mode. She's a little pink car. Isn't that just precious? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that's getting close here, so we can take a look at the details. Just have white up front, Autobot symbol right there on the hood. Some more whites. You have kind of like a gray transparent plastic there for the windshield. A little gray seats. Got a little fin there. None of that's. Gray transparent plastic. The wheels are also done in that plastic as well. And there's the back. Not too much going on there. There is the top. There is the bottom. She has a visible everything syndrome. <laughs> yeah, it's just total shell former, but hey, it is what it is. She rolls. Now it's rolling thing should. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here she is with the uh, Titans Return hot rod. With the uh, Power of the Primes, Hot Rod. And with Leader Class, Optimus Prime. And here she is with the Cyberverse, Deluxe RC. And with the Thrilling 30 Generations RC. So, there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, she just includes one. She has a little handgun, which is also done in that transclearance gray plastic. A little bit of detail going on there. Um, you can store this on the vehicle mode. You do have this tab right here on the side. You can, if you want, plug it up there if you want to. Hey, thing you can do if you want to do it. Or you can store it right under here. This slots right in. That's not too elegant, but then again, not much under here is elegant, but hey, it's a place to store it if you want storage. And the car is Bloosh compatible. That's right. We can use uh, Siege Jetfire's Blooshes. She has two Bloosh points right back there, so we can plug these. Actually, these are going to be, uh, we can use both. Let's see. Can we? Can we? I think we can. There we go. There we go. And she can bloosh! She can bloosh. And bloosh right back. Oh, it's magical. It's magical and mystical. But yeah, that is uh, pretty much it. Oh, there's a little uh, little steering wheel. A little, you know, dashboard there going on. But yeah, that is uh, basically it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? It's <laughs> so... Transformation is not all that involved. Of course, we must remove the gun first, put that off to the side, and we shall begin. So you just want to take her legs and just unfold them, bring them down, unfold, bring them down. Uh, her thighs do tab in, a little tabs in here to go up into her thighs. Let's untab those, and then you want to rotate the leg right here at the thigh. Rotate the leg. So that little detail on the side there lines up. Bring up her feet. And her legs are all done. You just get up in here and you just kind of bring your arms out. 
I'm like that, and you can kind of see what's going on here. <laughs> she is just totally just wearing the car. That's a, you wear that car beautifully. You wear it beautifully. Anyway, so what we do here is uh, now this part of the transformation doesn't work too well for me. What we want to do here is we want to take this this back section here and shift it upwards, but this part of the backpack um, unclips because it has another use. So I can never do this without just pulling this section off, but we're gonna try, so. There are little tabs also that go up under here as well. So you have to undo those first, and then try to pull this up. And it's probably going to unclip, did it not? Oh, it actually stayed on. I got it to stay on! Yes! Sorry, that's the first time that's ever happened. Every time I popped it off. Yay, I managed to do it. Skiddly do! All right. Sorry, that's the sound I make when I'm happy. Skiddly do! Uh, <clears throat> All right, anyway, so um, once we've done that, you want to take these little panels here. These will flip up. These will flip up. <laughs> flip these in. Yes, skiddly do. Just flip these up. And then uh, we're just going to leave that alone for now. So you want to bring all this down on a double hinge, like so. So it comes straight out. That will give you the clearance to take these wheels and flip them in. This section here will flip down. We can turn our head around now. So now we can just bring this down onto our back and then this will rotate around and then we bring this up. We have tabs, we have slots. Just line that up, plug it in, plug it in. And just get her all straightened out all nice like. And there we go, there we have RC in her robot mode. And she's a very G1-y looking RC, and I think she looks pretty good. Yes, let's just address it now. Yes, she has a massive backpack. She has the whole car folded up on her back, and here's the deal. If you are complaining about the backpack, I just have one simple tagline for you. Mainline Deluxe G1 styled RC. Of course it's gonna have a backpack! It's not a case of if, it's a case of how much. But you know, I can, I can do the same thing for shell forming, but you, you, you get the idea. But moving along, let's get in close here. So we're gonna take a look at that noggin. And it's a nicely done G1 RC head sculpt. Eyes done in a nice blue. She's got her Robo Princess Leia buns going on there. Um, yeah, I, I, I agree with the people who are like, I need to paint her lips. Like she needs something, a little something, a little something there on the lips, but. Oh no, I think it's a very nice G1E RC head sculpt. Autobot symbol right there on the chest. You have the uh, nice gray, pink there. The abular region, she does have her little robo belly button. That is screen accurate, people always complain <laughs> about the belly button. She has this, look up her animation model. She, this, they actually drew this on her, so this is accurate. They did draw a little belly button on her, but anyway, let's see. A nice white and pink paint scheme that is Odyssey and her feet. As you can see, she has a lot of heel because she has to support a lot of backpack here. And of course, again, the backpack, yeah, duh, backpack. But there you go. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head, the head seems like it's on a ball joint. I can't really tell because where her head is shaped. I don't think it is a ball joint, actually. I think it's just a straight mushroom peg it's on. But... It can rotate, can do a full 360. There's no real up and down there. Arms can do a full 360 in and out. Actually can move all the way up on that hinge there. You have bicep rotation. You have over 90 degrees of a bend at the elbow. Uh, the wrists can move in and out. She does have waist rotation. Legs can go forward that far, back that far, outward that far. She has Thigh rotation up here, that is the, the main thigh rotation joint here. She does have this rotational joint here, as for transformation, but you can use it if you want to. She has a double jointed knee, so she has nice full range of movement there. And the feet, they can move up, they can move down, and you have some ankle tiltage. And of course we can give her her little pistol here. You can store this on the robot mode. Uh, she does have a little, little slot right there. 
She has a little booty slot, and that didn't sound right. Anyway, it has. <laughs> Tap that in back there, and there you go. That's the storage for the gun. If you want, that's just that's just awkward. That's just so so awkward. Stop. Let let unclench, RC. Unclench. <laughs> ah, anyway, <laughs> but you can plug it into her hand, obviously. So she can pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang, and of course the gun is. Bloosh compatible, that's right. So we can take this and put this on the end of her gun and we can get a big old pink lady. Bloosh! That's right. Even the ladies can bloosh. Why not? There I say, why not? So there you have that. Now there is one more thing we can do and that involves the backpack. We can remove this chunk here and there's a little release lever for it you just push down on this section here and that's release so you can pull this out like so and once you do that you see it makes things look a lot cleaner a lot better so hey you have that option you can always just take this chunk off if you want to and that does look way better but what we do with this is we turn this around and then collapse this down like so straighten it out you take these wheel sections here and you flip them all the way out like that flip out the panel bring that all the way around and flip out the panel and this becomes like a little hoverboard for rc and there are two posts there and you just take your feet and just plug them on if i can find a port there we go plug that on there plug that on there and there you go. Now she's got a little hoverboard. And you know what? I personally like that. That's This seems like something RC would do, you know? I have a little hoverboard just to kind of zip around. I don't know. I can see this happening on the show. But, you know, hey, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Not great, but not bad. I can work with it. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here she is with the Titan's Return Hot Rod. With the Power of the Primes Hot Rod. Here she is with Magnus. They keep getting taller. Um, I have the DNA kit on mine, so that makes them even taller. But I have that. Here she is with Springer. See how that works out. And with Prime. And here she is with the Cyberverse RC. And with the Generations RC. So there you go. So there you have RC, and yeah, I like her. I mean, yeah, she has a ton of backpack, but again, it's a G1-styled mainline deluxe RC. What else is new? Um, so, you know, and backpacks don't bother me anyway. They never have. It's just, like I said earlier in the video, it's not a case of if she was going to have a backpack. It was how much of a backpack was she going to have. And yeah, she wears the whole car on her back, whatever. It's not a deal breaker for me. Um, I do like that you can take the majority of it off of her and do a little hoverboard gimmick. I actually think it's pretty clever. And uh, you can make for a nice little display like this. So, hey, it works for me. So I consider that extra play value as far as I'm concerned. But... Oh no, it's still a fun figure. It works. I'm pretty pleased with it, so. There you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Transformers figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Earthrise playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there's the Transformers Earth Rise Deluxe Class RC. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek, be proud. 
home in your face. You know what? I'm not doing it. You know why? Because I got better things to do. You always have better things to do. I do! By the way, have you seen RC? Uh, no, no, I haven't seen her. Whoa, did you see that? Where did she get that? See? Rising.